There weren't guys walking around with machine guns and cowboy hats, but what I saw at the Giga Factory completely amazed me in terms of what a robot is capable of. In addition, I like that this robot is capable of facing many dangerous situations that would otherwise kill people. Additionally, I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but Leonardo da Vinci wanted to create an armored robot that would fight in European wars so that people wouldn't have to die. Yes, the robot with the camera in the back of its head can perceive what's going on around it. It can hear and see far better than a person can, and in those kinds of scenarios, it's likely to think more quickly. We've seen a growth in the production of humanoid robots recently, which is similar to the emergence of electric vehicles. Tesla stands out as a success story in the EV space. Will the same tale unfold in robotics? Some individuals freeze up under stress, but this will never seize up. Some contend that Tesla's strategy, which is based on technological know-how and cost-effectiveness, establishes a strong benchmark. Similarly, Tesla's model succeeded by using a low-cost manufacturing technique investors are split into three groups. Were early adopters profiting from pre-opening excitement, traders riding the hype wave, and the rest of us left holding the bag? Are we about to witness a historical repeat? Let's address these issues, starting with those like additionally to subscribe buttons, greetings, and welcome to Tesla Insights. Let's get this video going. The grim truth is that, with the exception of Tesla, all EV startups have suffered significant losses since their IPOs. This loss is determined by subtracting the performance of the index from the listing which shows that another bubble is brewing. This is demonstrated by the extremely high valuations of young companies like Figure AI, which are valued at $2.6 billion. When we look closely at the table, it's a frightening sight to see that Type 1 investors are fueling this bubble, just like they did with its predecessors. While many other stocks are in the red, except for Tesla, which has gained 13,743 since its IPO, I think this is what he's talking about. You get a 13,364 per return for Tesla if you subtract the SP500's performance since Tesla's IPO. This means that investing in Tesla at IPO would not have produced the same returns as many other stocks. Instead, investing in Tesla at IPO would have produced substantial returns. Put Tesla's performance into perspective, it's important to understand the magnitude of the returns that early investors reaped. Those who were wise enough to invest in Tesla at IPO witnessed their initial investment skyrocket yielding exponential returns that far surpassed expectations. Such astronomical gains are a testament to Tesla's visionary leadership, innovative technologies, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Take Workhorse, for example, which saw a 96% loss or a decline of 88% after the IPO. Even considering the S&P 5500 performance exacerbates the losses, with some companies seeing declines of over 100%. On the other hand, the struggles faced by other electric vehicle startups provide a somber image of the difficulties they encounter. For instance, Workhorse has had a shocking 96% fall since going public, while Raven has seen an 88% decline. These numbers not only show the risks that come with investing in emerging industries, but they also highlight the intense competition and dynamics of the market. Even after accounting for the performance of the larger market, as represented by the SP500, the losses suffered by numerous EV startups are still clearly visible. Some businesses experience a 100% decline in sales. These findings raise important concerns about the sustainability of the EV market and the variables that influence success or failure within it. They serve as a sobering reminder of the volatility and unpredictability inherent in the world of investing beyond the statistics. The only thing that separates Tesla from its rivals is its superior technology. In contrast to the EV market, which had established participants, the early days of the auto industry offer a more instructive comparison. Visionary leadership, strategic vision, or are there deeper underlying forces at play? The EV bubble acts as a warning tale, and the humanoid bot industry is relatively new it is important to understand the particular dynamics of this industry. Now let's go back and concentrate on the insightful table that was provided. It gives a clear picture of the impact of the e-bubble and shows that, aside from Tesla, all other EV startups have experienced significant losses since their IPOs. When listing performance is subtracted from index performance, the results show a worrying it's clear that a new bubble is bursting, as evidenced by the enormous valuations of up-and-coming companies like Figure AI, who are currently valued at an astounding $2.6 billion. This pattern is similar to earlier bubbles that were mostly caused by Type 1 investors. The source's analysis of investor types is enlightening. Three groups of investors drove the EV bubble first, pre-IPO or early-stage investors, who made a lot of money if enough hype was created in the lead-up to the IPO because of their early entry 
and consequently lower entry valuation frequently, by selling down only a small portion of their entire holding at the IPO yielded an attractive return. Returns for investor type number two overall at IPO hedge funds, dealers, and the like without prior allocation of equity, the third type of investors, which includes the majority of us at IPOs or after IPOs with holding intention, but saw the hype surrounding the upcoming listing and created a trading strategy with no intention of holding for the long term. This class of investors ended up as the quote bag holders in all EV startup listings, with the exception of Tesla, because they believed the hype and entered at a higher valuation, setting them up for failure. Early investors in hedge funds have profited from the hype, leaving retail investors to bear the burden of losses is a recurring theme in these situations yet. The analysis of investor categories supplied by the source clarifies the dynamics at work in the market. Early investors in hedge funds, skilled at riding market hype, frequently make significant profits in the early stages of a bubble, while retail investors, seduced by the promise of rapid rewards, suffer the most when the bubble eventually collapses. Market bubbles throughout history have frequently included this pattern of speculative investing driven by a mix of hype and greed. From the dot-com boom of the late 1990s to the housing bubble of the mid-2000s, investors have repeatedly fallen for the allure of quick money only to experience catastrophic losses when reality finally sets in while there is merit in comparing EV companies to humanoid bot firms. Let's examine the comparison closely. In contrast to the established participants in the EV market, the humanoid bot industry is very young and lacks incumbents, therefore it's important to understand the subtleties. Humanoid bots, in. Contrast to electric automobiles that entered a market with established participants, represent a technological paradigm leap never previously witnessed. Human robots operate in a different environment than other machines, human labor is their rival. One may compare this to how cars have replaced horses, which were used by mammals to accomplish duties until mechanization has increased efficiency. Now, let's dive into some insights from C.N. Basher and Herbert, co-founders of HumanBots, a business at the forefront of the integration of humanoids into bots. They point out an important distinction between the profit margins of EVs and bots, noting that even Tesla struggles with low margins, requiring significant investment in intricate supply chains and factories. Bots present an alternative story. Bots are expected to require less capital to manufacture by utilizing current. The development of humanoid bots contrasts with investments in STK's battery technology, which has already been established through investments in consumer electronics and electric cars. This tells a distinct story. Because humanoid bots may take advantage of the infrastructure already in place, they may require less capital to produce because they can the groundwork by the EV industry. Moreover, there's a vast market opportunity for bots far surpassing that of automobiles with no existing bot market to contend with the potential for profit is substantial. Additionally, bots' ability to work long hours presents a compelling case for their adoption, especially in industries reliant on labor-intensive tasks. While EVS faced established competition upon entry, humanoid bots are paving a new path offering lucrative opportunities in an untapped market. If you're considering and integrating humanoid bots into your operations, human bots can offer invaluable guidance tailored to your needs. So, humanoid bots have the potential to completely transform entire industries and drastically alter how we live and work. Herbert Ang's insights provide a compelling look into the seemingly endless possibilities of these groundbreaking technologies. From analyzing the similarities between EV startups and the developing area of humanoid bots to investigating the variety of uses and adaptability of these amazing creations, humanoid bots represent a quantum leap forward in the field of robotics. After seeing this insightful and thought-provoking video, it's your chance to contribute to the discussion. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this discussion insightful, don't forget to like this video. What do you think will happen to humanoid bots in the future? and how will they affect industries around the world? Do you see them revolutionizing the way we live and work, much like automobiles did in the early 20th century? Thank you for watching, and until next time, subscribe to Tesla Insights for additional updates on the most recent happenings in Tesla.